What if I told you that learning how to code has a lot of similarities to sports? You might not think a job that mostly requires you to stay seated can really compare to a physical activity like basketball. But a deeper dive into the discipline and practice required to be successful in your profession applies to both. As easy as it is to pick one of the greats like Michael Jordan to convey this work ethic, I'd rather choose a role player whose story is not yet finished in the game of basketball to show that as a player or developer, that even though we may not be the best, we still need to constantly be improving in our craft. Today, we're going to be examining the controversial NBA player named Lonzo Ball. If you're not familiar with Lonzo Ball, he's a basketball player who was drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers as the second pick of the 2017 NBA Draft. He had a lot of hype coming into the league due to his father's outside brash declarations, but from a pure basketball perspective, his skills were solid as a point guard. Many people even compared him to Jason Kidd, who was a great facilitator on the court. Lonzo Ball is a basketball player who looks to pass before he shoots. He can make deep outlet passes from one end of the court to the other and has a great eye of spotting open teammates whenever possible. From a pure passing perspective, he's a very solid player who can facilitate the game and help his teammates look good. A great trait to have as a traditional point guard. Unfortunately, the game of basketball has changed and players like James Harden and Stephen Curry who play point guard has expanded the role by being able to score points. To be truly a great point guard, you need to be able to make shots. Being unable to score was a fundamental flaw in Lonzo Ball's game. Even before the draft, many analysts said that his shooting form was very unorthodox and wouldn't translate well to the NBA. They are spot on with the analysis and Lonzo struggled significantly in the shooting department. He couldn't make open threes, missed free throws, and overall lost his confidence as a shooter. Some even consider Lonzo Ball a bust. The biggest issue why Lonzo was missing so many of his shots was due to his poor shooting mechanics. If you notice his form, he has his right elbow sticking out to his side and the ball is placed to the left of his head. Also, his right forearm is not in the right ideal position to shoot which is the main contribution to why he missed so many shots. It's very easy to stick with what you know, and in Lonzo's case, keeping the same form because it's familiar would have been the easy path to take. However, with the help of his coaching staff, he embraced the process of changing how he shot the basketball. As a software developer, specifically in JavaScript, there's a running joke about JavaScript fatigue. New frameworks come out on a weekly to monthly basis can be very exhausting. But on the other end of the token, sticking with what you already know without being open to adapt to better and newer technologies will hinder your growth as a developer. Being able to adapt your skills to ever-changing ecosystems will make you a successful athlete or developer, respectively. From a pure visual perspective, everyone could see what changes needed to be made for Lonzo to be a better shooter. I can guarantee you Lonzo got some great advice from his coaching staff through presentations about his angle alignment, ball placement, and shot velocity. Being able to understand the problem is one thing, but fixing it is another challenge of its own. There is no way Lonzo could become a better shooter just by analyzing film or reading about how to shoot a basketball. Yes, it can help, but at the end of the day, he needed to apply what he learns by practicing on the basketball court. Practicing not only means just making jump shots when you're open, but also needs to take into account the unknown variables of having someone defending against you or playing under pressure. Books and films will theoretically help, but cannot simulate the real game time feel. Physically applying what he learned was the key to becoming a better basketball player. We always hear as developers to apply what you learn. Too many times new developers fall victim of getting into tutorial hell, only taking the happy path of learning how to code without any real struggles. When the challenge of building an application from scratch is given to us, it becomes very obvious that we're not ready because the practice of applying what we learned was not done properly. As software engineers, we need to view building projects as a physical practice to improve our skills. The art of debugging and spending hours and hours on unknown bugs is what at the end of the day makes us better as software developers. Lonzo Ball's dedication to practice and willingness to change his game makes him a true threat in the three-point line. 
He started the NBA as a 30% three-point shooter and has slowly improved to 40%. That 10% increase is a reflection of not just theoretical practice, but a physical one of repetition and consistency. Being able to make big shots when it counts in the big game is the equivalent of developers creating production as features, whether it be your own or for your company. Lonzo Ball isn't the best player in the NBA, he's far from it. You don't need to be the greatest developer of all time. Rather, as an aspiring developer, you need to practice how to code by building projects and just making mistakes. Experiment with new libraries, have a discussion with your peers about the pros and cons of certain technologies. Activities like this will keep your mind going. Being able to stand on your own two feet without the crutches of a tutorial will make you a great developer. This is why coding is like sports. They require work, practice, and dedication to keep improving. So don't give up and keep going. You'll be surprised how much you can do and how much you can gain confidence as a software developer. Even if you feel like you don't know too much, remind yourself that you are a software developer fully capable of learning and contributing. If you like content like this, I highly recommend you to hit that like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Tech Rally out.